Welcome to the Tammy Show from my home in Auckland, New Zealand to wherever you are. What's with the double pointing? Hello and welcome to the Tammy Show from my home in Auckland, New Zealand, beaming into wherever you're watching from around the world. I'm going to call up my brother Jay and we're going to sing a song for you. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm all excited because it's only two days until the Country Music Awards. Right. That song that you we, wrote is in it. The one I wrote by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. And then, which is up against the song I wrote with you. So, um, we'll see who wins. And I, we'll see who yeah, wins. Yeah, and at this point, at this point while we're filming, I don't know who the third contestant, contestant. What is this? Like, the price is right? <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune? Contestant no. nominee nominee <laughs> that I just have to say in all honesty it would really suck to have two songs out of three and not win <laughs> at all. Yeah. It's a shoe in. But <laughs> so I've been thinking about what I'm gonna wear, and you, you um, get to you get to actually go to the awards like in a building. No, I have to stay home. Anyway, so do I wear like something comfortable? I don't know, guys. It's gonna be a surprise. I think we should do a little like event um, of you and I getting ready together and um, my favorite thing. <laughs> my favorite dressing thing. up. <laughs> my Dress favorite dressing awesome. up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think that we should perform the song today to celebrate because yeah. it's in two days we'll know who won whether it was me or me or uh, me or you maybe <laughs> but anyway are we gonna sing that song that you worked so hard to write by yourself now yes we are yes we are good for you <laughs> <laughs> I try to speak, tongue-tied and weak. Each time I try to start, any fool with eyes to see, any fool with ears to hear. My love for you is all so clear to any fool with a heart. I try to flirt, lipstick and spit. Your love for 
Today we are going to talk about the incredible Bobby Gentry. This album was a special record store release um, in 2018 and the lovely folks at Slowboat Records in Wellington, New Zealand managed to procure this for me. This is one of those albums that it's, it's not even about the album itself. It's one of those times where it boils down to wanting something because it's one of those exclusive releases, it's harder to get. When I saw this, it sparked joy. It made my heart race. I mean, look at this beautiful thing. It's the font from the Ode to Billy Joe album. It's just the colors. Oh my God. And the back. Like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I refuse to take off the shrink wrap because I love this little sticker. This little sticker is just so delicious as well. And it has her silhouette which is this iconic silhouette. It was gone, it was gone everywhere I looked. And my buddy Jeremy Taylor from Slovo Records in Wellington um, messaged me and he said, if I can get the Bobby Gentry BBC album for you, will you come and do an in-store when you're coming through on tour next month? He had himself a deal. I mean, to be totally honest, I would have done it anyway, but. The thing about Bobby, you know how that saying, like, leave them wanting more? Um, everything from songwriting to shows, she was the master at leaving people wanting more. She had this incredible career, amazing songs. I mean, if you have not heard Ode to Billy Joe, just go and listen to it now. It is literature. It is incredible. It is like the I Ching of songwriting. So she was active for about a decade from kind of 66, 67. And in that time, she changed the face of music. She knocked the Beatles off of the charts for weeks with her number one hit, Ode to Billy Joe, in 1967. She was one of the first women to compose and produce her own music. And we're not just talking like a guitar and drums and bass. We're talking full orchestral arrangements. I mean, she's so good that there are entire conspiracy theories that she didn't write what she wrote because how could that have possibly come from a woman? Anyway, if you want to go more in depth with her story, I highly recommend listening to one of my favorite podcasts of all time, Cocaine and Rhinestones. There is an episode all about her and it's so well researched. It's incredible. Go listen to it. Bobby is an icon in so many ways as a songwriter, a creator, a producer, a fashion icon. She was just that all-rounder businesswoman um, much like Dolly Parton is. And can we just talk about her voice for a minute? I mean, aside from all of her other incredible accomplishments and talents, that voice is just so husky and smoky and deep and delicious. But at the top of her game, she decided to retire from the music business and has not been seen or heard from since musically. So I think part of the allure about Bobby is the fact that you want more and you can't have it. She um, is a direct influence on my songwriting. If you listen to my song, A Woman's Pain, the storytelling, the haunting element of the music was directly influenced by her. I mean, we all just want to be Bobby Gentry. That same font from the Ode to Billy Joel, of Joel, oh my God. <laughs> when she sings Piano Man, the shame.
I wanted to speak not of, not so much about their pain, but about their strength and the incredible resilience that women have to come out the other side. a child of the nation Raised on a white man's little reservation Three girls, one more in the belly of her mama Robbed by death, giving life to her daughter Baby grew up fast, yes she was a fast one one half child, the other half woman Shotgun waiting for the baby arrived Man run off, left a child to raise a child Partake of pleasure and reap the shame The hand that holds the power Signs the blame, and this old world turns on a woman's pain. Garden of Eden. The moment her lips touch forbidden fruit, he said, I'll curse you with pain, and a man will rule you. Partake of pleasure and reap the shame. The hand that holds the power, a sign. This old world turns on a woman's pain This is my other brother, Todd Nielsen. Isn't that rude? The other yeah, brother. The other like you're one. not even, I should just say, this is my brother, Todd, and Jay could be the other brother. That's right. Let him. This is your time to shine. My forehead <laughs> is shining. <laughs> Look at it. Where's makeup when you need it? So this week, I thought we would feature um, the second nominated song, which we find out, I think, in two days. Who wins? Sweet. Um, but it'll be you if it's not. <laughs> delete this. <laughs> <laughs> delete this. Congrats. If you don't win. <laughs> we always knew you would win. Splice it there. If it... <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my favorite music videos that we did in yes. that, what was it? Not even 48 hours, like 36 hour video yeah. shoot. We did seven videos. <laughs> 
<laughs> in thirty six hours. In, in this in our same back room, but there was only three areas to set it up. So we were moving stuff and building rotating. stuff and rotating and so this is the thing like i feel like last week we started talking about it and it was over we're like so in this video okay goodbye thanks for coming <laughs> yes so we're gonna be real professional i'm playing this on my phone because my internet's so bad that it's gonna screw up our zoom call if i play right. it. so it's on the, on the 3g <laughs> on the three g's it's on um, the old internets you, you do the countdown again okay it's the final We are the worst. People didn't yes. know we were going to collab as well, <laughs> musically. Uh, okay. Well, I'm like the fake brother, so. <laughs> <laughs> On four. four. Okay. Okay. One, two, th my screen just went dark. Wait. <laughs> See, I love this. The colors. Yeah. The sun. We had this like fake, fake wood pole, the, like, it's just set. It looks like a set. And that was great. It's supposed to. It's supposed to look yeah. like a cheesy Western. And honestly, like we were, I was trying to avoid where you guys were singing to each other anyway. Because mm. <laughs> this is like a love song. And you want yeah. to feel more like a writer versus, you know. I love this background so much. It actually, it's like almost old Hollywood, gone with the wind. Yeah. Vibes like Tara yeah. and yeah, it was. Well, it's, it was, it's lit basically for black and white. You know, it's kind of like that kind of, you know, every heart, there's hard lines on the face and we have a lot of contrast in there. And even in color correction, we're, we're bringing your face out a little bit more and Jay's face. Those ropes, I had to wear these ropes for almost every scene. <laughs> My arms were so like oh, rope burned. So then, yeah, we had the flame here and then it was like, oh no, it looks like they're gonna die. And then it's the end. <laughs> <laughs> And the concept, we, we came up with a concept, and it, it was funny, you and I, because like this song means not this. Mm -hmm. And I remember you and I talking about it, where it's like, what if we did all these things where like you guys just end up dying at the <laughs> we end? We just kind of had like, like that whole getting tied to the train track, like just old school yeah. Western vibe. So like, this then, one, then, we're actually standing up here. People don't realize yes. we're not lying down. Yeah, standing um, up, we kind of glued and, and bobby pinned everything up. Like taped my earrings to my hair, so they wouldn't yeah, fall this, down. This was, I think, someone came in with the with one of the lights. <laughs> Boom, <laughs> you died. <laughs> and so this one, this one was we shot this one. You know, basically at the end. My favorite is when you cough here. You actually are coughing. I like actually burped. <laughs> I'm so ladylike. So ladylike. Oh, ha! There's, There's that the awesome knee. backdrop that you painted the night before. Yeah. It was still wet. <laughs> yeah, so don't touch it. Um, but yeah, so we tried to light it twice. One red and one orange so that it kind of broke it up. But yeah, it turned out really great. What's interesting about it is it was three shots, which should be very simple, but it wasn't still. <laughs> <laughs> Never is. Never is. No. Nope. Especially when Jay leaves his plastic water bottle from 2019. Yes. That you had to, <laughs> to remove and post. <laughs> yeah, so my, my color correction uh, and editor, uh, Daryl Kingdon, was working on this video too. And we, were, we both finished the color correction. The video looks like so snappy. We're like, wow. You know, we're like patting ourselves on the back. We're cool. We're, we're going to win Grammys for this. <laughs> we're all proud of ourselves. And then Daryl goes, there's a water bottle in it. <laughs> I was like... What is this, Game of Thrones? <laughs> there can't be. He goes, he just sends a picture. I was like, <laughs> Jay was parched. He was, <laughs> how, it's the, the thing desert. is, how can he be parched when we are drinking that, that whole scene? <laughs> we're drinking like he's, he's so like, much he's, that we're bloated. <laughs> like. He's like, oh I'm gonna drink some poison. Here's my vodka chaser. <laughs> no. Thanks, Jay, the oh other brother. <laughs> I'm super proud of you. I'm glad you're nominated. You better friggin' win. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Even if it's just for the song, music video wins. Yeah, well, actually, it's the song that's up for the award, not, not the video. I'm, oh, come on. Oh my God, this runs in the family. Attitude.
Thanks so much for joining us today on The Tammy Show. If you like it, I hope that you'll subscribe and meet us here again next week. Same time, same channel. Curling from her lips Ruby red cherry on her fingertips Tight skirt wiggle when she walks Curses like a sailor every time